A bit of drizzle coming down again. Not uh, heavy, but uh, it is there. So the riders beginning to make their way round to the start line for the final time this evening. Let's just hope it holds off for another couple of minutes because we really do want to see a grandstand finish here. Track on the inside is fairly slick. No track grading prior to the final, of course. It's just before the two semi-finals, and then they let it run until the conclusion of the evening. So riders up at the tapes. Final time, the grand final here in Germany. What a night it's been. The one solar arena here in Landshut has done itself proud. The crowd, well, stunning. Absolutely heaving it is here tonight. Holder off the inside in the red helmet colour. Alongside him in gate number two in blue is Dominic Kubera. Gate number three in white is Mikkel Mikkelsen. What a night he's had. Return to form for the Danish man. Off the outside is the world champion. We're accustomed to seeing him in finals. This will be the third one in a row this year. That's the sort of consistency you need. You absolutely need to win a world championship. But Holder is hanging tough with him. He's keeping him honest, isn't he, Jack Holder? 32 points apiece coming into tonight. Yeah, really impressed with the way Jack Holder's held himself together tonight. He needed, he put, put himself under pressure, needed a race win just to get to the semi-finals, and then, of course, came off what has been the worst gate and did the job. Indeed he did. So Jack Holder beginning to emerge. Somebody who potentially could take it to Smarslick throughout this year. Jason Doyle, of course, who was leading the championship, coming into tonight. Great shame for him, just running out of steam in the last couple of rides. Grand final here in Germany. Four laps to go. Green light comes on. Here we go, takes her up. Holders made it off the inside. Mickelson. Whoa, what a start from gate number three. Couldn't win there all night long. He files himself to the front. Holder in the second place. Marsley back in third. Mickelson has had a couple of really tough years. The only reason he's in the Grand Prix is because he won the European Championship. He's out in front. What a stunning start for Mikkel Mikkelsen from gate number three. Oh, great stuff from Mikkelsen. Absolutely superb. Came in tonight in 10th place. He'll be moving up the standings if he can hold on to this. He'll be hearing every noise now as Smarslik is uh, doing his best there, but it's Jack Holder putting him under pressure around the inside. I think he's oh! going to stick to his guns. Here we go. Jack Holder strong in second place. Mikkel Mikkelsen now slams the door shut. Just over a lap to go. Had to do that because Jack Holder was coming on so very strong in second place. What a moment this will be for Mikkel Mikkelsen. Oh, smash it now. Oh, it's it's better. Holder back up the inside. Stunning speedway here in Germany tonight. But Mikkel Mikkelsen out of the last corner. What a moment for him. He wins in Germany. He wins his first Grand Prix. What a moment for Mikko Mikkelsen. Oh, look at that. Sensational moment for him. An unbelievable start from gate number three. Bartosz Marslik and Jack Holder swapping places late on in the final. Fabulous speedway. Speedway out of the top draw. I don't care. My draw is big. It's full. Big. It does appear that Smarslik may have stolen second on the run to the line. What's another speedway, Chris? Uh, Mickelson, you know, last year he didn't enjoy the Grand Prix series, said he just couldn't get his head around it, but he's come in two eight-point rounds to come into tonight in 10th place, and now he's a Grand Prix winner. Absolutely, look at him, look at him. Well, I think he's been through mental hell in the last two years. Yeah, maybe three. He's been riding well away from the Grand Prix, but Grand Prix has been tough. What a way to come back. All the work. The decisions made in the winter time proving to be absolutely correct. Stunning start, brilliant out in front. He's been competitive all night, apart from his first ride. He deserves the victory. At times, he's been the quickest man out on track, and so it proved in the final. Speedway's a winner tonight, though. There's no doubt about that. It's been a stunning Grand Prix. Jack Holder and Bartosz Marslik also doing a great job for second and third. What a night it was. Result of the final, Mickelson wins. What a win it is. Bartosz Marslik coming through into second place. That was right at the death. 
what a moment that was for him. Nothing between him and Jack Holder, who still makes the rostrum in third. Dominic Cabrera picks up 14 points for fourth. It will mean the Barcelona Smarter Smart will lead the championship going into Prague, but this is what it's all about. Mickelson from gate three. Well, for pre-race, we were talking about, will it be Smarzlik, will it be Holder? And then that man there, Mickelson, just comes off gate three, absolutely launches it off the start. One grab of the clutch as he just drops the clutch initially, and it just takes him to the corner. Absolutely superb. It does not get any better than that from the start. No. The guy was under pressure. He's in a Grand Prix final, and he's coming off the worst gate, and look what he does. Absolutely superb. Smarslick and Holder taking it to each other. It looked like Holder was going to be the man to put uh, Mikkel Mickelson under pressure. He found a run up the inside, got the bike working, and then just down on the finish line as we make the run to the last the last corner there. It's uh, Smarslick, but uh, that's why Smarslick's a four times champion. He grabs those points. Every single point counts. Yeah, well, for a moment, I thought Holder was going to hit the front like here, but it wasn't to be. And then I was so excited about Mickelson winning. I was looking over the heads of people. I missed out on the fact that Smarslik stole second place away from Jack Holder on the run to the line. Never yeah. knows when he bit. What a move that is. Yeah, it was brilliant. He just had a quick left turn and said, OK, it's just the run to the corner now. I can do this. Sensation. And he does it by a whisker. As I say, Speedway the winner this evening. Mikkel Mickelson on top of the box tonight. What a moment for him. Truly remarkable return to form for Mickelson in what has been such a competitive night of Speedway. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's been absolutely outstanding Speedway here this evening. Right from the opening four races, we have witnessed some truly stunning moves. So here we are. We'll see the result of tonight's Grand Prix with the big points being handed out now. There you see, 20 points for Mikkel Mickelson. That's sweet, sweet indeed. Smarslik will be more than happy with 18. 16 for Holder. Dominic Kubera on 14. We've already spoken about Lambert, Madsen, Bewley and Doyle. It's just a couple of points between Smarslik and Holder now in the championship chase after three rounds. So nothing to choose between them. So we'll take a look at the standings. Bartos, Smarslik and Holder, of course, are teammates in the Extra Liga. Here's the uh, position after three rounds. Smarslik, the world champion, leads the world championship. 50 points, 48 points to Holder. Jason Doyle, 47. Not a complete disaster for Doyle, no. but he'll still be disappointed with the way it concluded. Robert Lambert, 41, going along quite nicely. Mickelson, fifth. What a move for Mikel Mickelson. Fabulous night of Speedway, 20 points. Very handy indeed.